Uh, it's also allowed for paying pensions and other financial obligations, but most importantly, it has been able to keep the lights on in our city. I am not here to tell you about the city's finances of potential bankruptcy. I attended the special meeting in June with the city manager and finance app show, show all of us the budget and projections for the next three years. You know the state of the city's finances. I am not here to tell you to remind you of the corruption and mismanagement of the city's finances over the years. We all have seen and heard how you pay or not pay for things. We all have seen your unethical practices regarding nepotism and not living with the city boundaries. Council Member Doe, he's been very, very vocal and for many, many sessions talking about the other unethical uh, practices among current and past uh, council members. I am not here to discuss how police officers are leaving for better paying jobs. You have seen the increasing vacancy numbers. I don't need to explain that to you. I am not here to discuss the impact of fewer parking enforcement and last PP staff. We all have seen the grass in our parks growing taller and taller before they are even mowed. No, that is not why I am here. I am here to ask you to give myself my son, who's voting for the first time in November, my husband, my neighbors, all of us here, the residents of Westminster, the opportunity, the right, the same right to be able to decide and to vote what we're going to be doing, to give us the right to grant us our right, our constitutional right to vote for changes in our own city. You may not want to extend the, uh, the taxes, the city and sales tax, and that's your right, you don't have to. You don't have to vote for it. That's your right. You can I have that opportunity to do that. But the current, but currently and at this moment, you also have the power, the power to deny us, to take our rights away, to take away from us, the residents of the city, the right to be able to decide how we want to spend our money. You, you are taking away the right to decide whether we want to extend the sales tax or we don't want to extend the sales tax. You are denying our constitutional right to decide how we want to use our money. You are taking away all eligible voters of Westminster the right to vote to extend the existing city and sales tax. You are denying us the ability to vote, to hire more police officers. You are denying us the right to have our parks mowed regularly. You are denying us our rights to have streets cleared from parking violations and for cleaning our streets as well. You are denying us our rights to make a decision whether we want to keep our lights on. All we're asking is that you give us the same rights and the same power that you have granted yourselves for us to be able to vote and make that decision. So I am asking you to help us, allow us, to give us our democratic right to be able to decide how we want to live and where we want to live. And if we want to continue to live in the city of Westminster, we decide that we no longer want Westminster. That is our right and our choice, and we want you to give us that right. And honestly, at this point, regardless of the corruption, regardless of the things going on, we just want to keep our lights on. And I think we have a right to make that decision. Thank you.
started working five years ago for Public Works. They've been on a limited staff. They've been tight with funding, but they've done an outstanding job of handling the water issues, the potholes, the street problems, the park issues, everything that's thrown at them. If we do not allow this measure to be placed on the ballot and passed, we will not be able to keep up with the current services we provide to our residents. I have watched the past few years of the City Council meeting, and I'm asking you today, please listen to your staff, listen to the residents of Westminster. It's time to place this on the ballot and let, like everyone's been saying, the residents decide. As a resident for 30 years, I've seen a lot of changes in the city. One thing we must maintain is a strong police force and funding for public services to keep the city proud and to continue for me to be living here in this city. I was privileged. I grew up in a very influential city. And the one thing that is with cities that have influence is that they have money. And that money funds police and it funds city services and that keeps them running smoothly. You must. I'm urging you, you must invest in the city and the residents that live in the city. Help us to be proud of the city we work for and the city we live in. Thank you. Good evening, Mr. Mayor, Mr. Vice Mayor, and City Council members. My name is Moses Castillo, I've been a resident for Westminster for almost uh, three decades. And today, you consider me a community advocate. After hearing all these speakers here tonight, it's given me a greater resolve to encourage you to do the right thing. In fact, it should have given you a greater resolve to listen to your residents, your, your voters. They know vote will create a divide. A no vote will secure you're no longer going to be re-elected. A yes vote says, I'm with the people of Westminster. I will allow them to vote. vote the voice will be heard because their voice matters. And I'd also like to commend uh, Chief Lene and the Westminster Police Department in recent weeks, months, we have worked some really tough cases and removed some dangerous criminals off our streets. And I'm talking about dangerous criminals, murderers, rapists, child molesters, you name it. And many of them spoke here today, and man, I, I, I applaud them for doing that. It takes courage to face you, face to face, and tell you to put this measure on the ballot. So it's up to you. Are you going to unite with us, or are you going to create division? And I hope you do the right thing. Because you know what? The only way for evil to prevail is for good men and women to do nothing. And we need our police officers. They need our support. They need our funding. They need everything. Because ultimately, public safety is number one. If that goes down the tubes, the city goes down the tubes. You honor them. You respect them. You support them. You advocate for them. Then our city will be just be okay. Who wants that? Our city has gone through many challenges. We will balance that. But we need you to do the right thing and put this measure on the ballot. Thank you. Have a good night. Next speaker is Christine Barnes, followed by Conrad Gomez, and then Kim Miller.
to understand that here in the United States of America, one of our rights, God given the right in the Constitution, says the right to vote. You cannot change that. So if you were to change that, then why did 58,000 Americans die? Why did the 300,000 get in South Vietnamese die? Why are you allowing that to happen in your, and it's you, it's nobody else. There's one, two, three, four, five of you up there, or six, or seven. It's your responsibility to give them that right. The tax measure that the citizens vote for keeps a 1% measure and show the citizens that this is a democracy, not a monarchy. Get on Veterans America, Max community in its right to vote and maintain the proper standard for the city of Westminster, for the police department, the fire department, the paramedics, and all the workers of the city. Without them, we're nothing. You know, what are you going to do? Let's say trying to decide to call for the police department. Uh, you have the nerves, you don't need the uh, place. It takes 20, 30 minutes. You need them there now. We know that something terrible can happen in a matter of two to three minutes. Some gentleman found that same thing out at one of uh, your gas stations. You know, he's dead. I couldn't believe that. I said, the city of Westminster, I couldn't believe that. But I don't understand why you uh, why that right was taken away. That's why hundreds of thousands of veterans, both men and women, have died. So you, so all of us have the right to vote. You cannot take that away from us. And I did not want to make any mentions of the concrete issue, but since it's been brought up, I'll say that the concrete uh, the tree committee, as far as I'm concerned, was nothing but a joke. Why? Because I'm getting these two Americans. There's 13 members. I keep some of them. There were two alternates. And I was an alternate. So we had 10 um, uh, Vietnamese and one American. Why couldn't we have two Americans? Well, whoever set up the committee said they were wrong. Why? We argued. Did we get along very well? Not really. Because we argued, argued, and argued. They wanted to put the U.S. in the back of the bus. They even agreed. The one thing they agreed on was that it wasn't of the U.S. military, air power, and naval power. Guess what? Vietnam would have fallen in 1972, possibly 1973. That's the way it is. And if you ever form any other type of committee, you will not. It's just a big part of the That doesn't just facts and two Vietnamese. How do you get that vote go? It would be the Hispanics, right? You cannot have a committee and set up two Americans, Bob Harrison and myself, for failure. And I mentioned that to you, Kyle, and you questioned me on that. So I am a little annoyed because to me, the most important part of this meeting right now is the police department, the fire department, and the city staff. Without them, you will have nothing. Some of you might say, some of you are leaving. But without them, this community deserves the police department, and you have no idea of what a policeman has to go through. Or a fireman, a nurse, a paramedic, even the city staff, all the things that they do for you. You must do the right thing, and you have no choice. You work with them. They don't work for you. They voted you in and they trust you. So, this issue of Palm Tree Monument, you have a free spot at the Westminster Memorial Park. That's it.
or have the privilege and honor of voting. And yet, some of you would deny you that right and would deny that right to the residents of the city. And I don't understand it. And I tried to look for explanations and I come up with none. Mayor Todd, apparently there was a major recently about whether or not the mayor should be um, an appointed position or a position that's voted for. And I have to applaud you because my understanding was that you urged the residents of this city not to give up their right to vote. And I don't understand why this is any different. That was your stance now, but yet you're not supporting my right to vote. There have been people that have made accusations against council members that possibly the answer might be that you've got political interests or other jobs that you're looking for and supporting the tax major or raising taxes would hinder your fundraising ability or might make it difficult for you to run for a position. But I know that can be true. You can't be that villainous that you would put your own personal interests above the citizens, the residents of this city that you're sworn to represent. So I beg and urge you, for those of you that are either abstaining or voting no, to reconsider and allow both me and the residents of this city the rights that we deserve. Allow us to make our own decision to vote on this nation. Thank you.
For years, the liberal media, the liberal media has sought to portray the Vietnam War as an Americanized war, fought mainly by Americans, and the South Vietnamese were relegated to secondary soldiers. They portrayed the South Vietnamese as incompetent, and the war was unwinnable because without Americans, uh, involvement was unwinnable, and that was exactly what the communists have always wanted in their propaganda. The whole purpose of this Wang Chi monument was to change all that sentiment. Yes, America did help South Vietnam in the air, but the final credit of victory goes to the South individual South Vietnamese soldiers who fought on the ground. It is an universal theme among the revisionist historians. The Quang Chi battle epitomized Vietnamization. The successful transfer of American military might to the South Vietnamese so they can defend themselves. Give the South Vietnamese their grand victory so that Americans can withdraw with peace and honor. That was the whole goal of the Nixon administration. Let us think about this. If Congress had not come aid and Vietnamization was allowed to succeed, the war would not have been lost. America would be celebrating its veterans and China would not be a threat like they are today. Depicting the Quan Chi Monument any other way is going back to the early Americanization of the war. It is travesty of history and it disrespects all veterans who have fought for the right cause of the war, which was to defend South Vietnam and build those strong to fight the communists. Please, let us build the Quan Chi Monument the right way and put it in a respectable place. Thank you. Good evening, Mayor, Vice Mayor, Council Members. My name is Mike Tilsey. I live in Benton Avenue, Westminster. And I come around here tonight, you know, I came the last week to be talking about the homeless problem and uh, the help I was going to get received. Well, we had a neighborhood meeting last night. And the uh, Vice Mayor was there, thank you, Mr. Hartford, great job. I even had the Chief of Police came, we had uh, Commander McCormick, Sergeant Adam, uh, we had the city, city Manager, City was there, and the Assistant City Manager. So I thank you all for coming, we, the neighborhood really appreciate it. I got a bunch of calls today, and uh, people not my door thanking for the support that they received. Um, I got a message from uh, Sergeant Dunn today, he emailed me, telling me that they contacted the land management there, the long Walmart, and if they don't start getting wall fixed in the next week, they've been sighted, and they're going to start finding them, even if they didn't find them until it's fixed, which I think is a great idea. Now, and that was the main reason I came here tonight, to thank you. Uh, the Chief of Police for taking the time to come see us all. And we have a great police department. There's no two ways about it. We are looking at, and I've had all the stories tonight. I've had all the people. I've had all that, the monuments. Oh, by the way, there's my castle coming. And we used to love the castle. You would ask me for the castle. That's what I'm saying. Carlos, there's my castle coming. Just, just so you know, with civil society, the most important thing is in this spot, everybody's talking about it. You guys know. Now, just a little bit about me. Before I retired last year, I was an executive. I, I ran many multi million dollar companies. They would hire me to go in, fix the company that was hiding or fault with it, make it profitable, and move up to the next one. They give you a pile of money, but that's the world. And that's how I've done what I've done for the last 20 years. Looking at this tonight, what I saw, we wasted the first 20 minutes of this meeting over one motion. You wasted 20 minutes over one motion. That could have been resolved very quickly, but it, it, it just shows the incompetence upon that table, on the DSS. It just 
show is being copied. If anyone of you would have done that in one of our meetings, and I ran companies, I would have called you to my office and I would have fired you in a heartbeat. I have an idea that I'd fix this. Let's put the police department in charge of the city. Trận tái chiếm Quảng Thành Quảng Trị năm 1972 là một trận chiến nổi tiếng khắp thế giới theo dõi không những cho toàn dân quân miền Nam cũng cũng để kinh doanh quân đội đồng minh những chiến binh của quân đội Hoa Kỳ đã tham gia trận đánh tái chiếm của Thành Quảng Trị có hàng trăm phi vụ của quân đội đồng minh Hoa Kỳ đã thả bom và thả những quân nhân nhận rồi xuống để được trợ trận đánh của thành Quảng Trị và hải pháo của quân đội Hoa Kỳ đã giúp nên đã tái chiến thắng của thành Quảng Trị ngày 16 tháng 9 năm 2002. Sự hy sinh của quân đội đồng minh Hoa Kỳ và quân đội quân lực Việt Nam Cộng Hòa đã đổ xương máu cho trận này thì cần phải được đặt tượng đài của nơi trang nghiêm an ninh và có nhiều du khách tìm đến chiêm ngưỡng như phi đâm pháp để nhớ về lịch sử của trận đánh năm nào cảm ơn quý vị đã lắng nghe kính chào quý vị vừa được tự thức tán trần thủ vi liệu cho phòng xã hội xin lời thưa quý vị city of her country in 1972. 
Let us vote. 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 Let us vote.
But then I was persuaded because he did not uh, follow the rules of uh, our city council. And also, you know, the Wan Chi Monument Yisu has been dragging for four or five years. All of you, five of you, including her, already approved the Wan Chi Monument number one. And then, when they are about to install three of you, Taino, Mento, and Tiglico, stop it in big, completely, and you make the decision that no more monument in Freedom Park. That is why you take the blame for tracking the problems. People want to put the Quadri Monument there. And now you make the decision, already no monument there. And then you want to reverse it. This is not a game for the children to play. Sometimes you say yes, and then next time you say no, and then the next other day you say, okay, that's really bad for our city. It's dragging, dragging, and make a big hole in our city budget. That is why I, some of the uh, people call Kipling Hall is Kipling Holes because they make a big holes in our budget. See, this is Kipling Hall. So please, you should know the real problem of our city. And also, where is it home? You hide it from me? Too bad. So home. Already called horrible decision, the horrid policy, horrible. That means changing, changing, and keep changing. Kimberly, I would like to talk to you directly here. Don't hide in the outside there. Because when I support hope, I hope thought that she will bring hope to the city. But actually, she bring horrible decision. He make big holes to our budget. Three hundred thousand dollars for Metro C, which was advocated by Kimberly Hall. So that's why Kimberly, your name never L. Lee, that means lie. But you follow the wrong route, and L become lies. L become lust for power. L become leeches. See, those are the problem. And mental, your name, name for zero act. You know zero is a hero. But if you follow the wrong direction, you will be named with zero dignity. So everything depends on you. And Mr. Taito, your name Kai in Thailand, Thailand. But you follow the wrong direction. It will be terrible disaster. Five. That's it. That's what I want to talk about. Thank you.
followed by Harry Green. Vietnamese 
President of the City of Westminster about the financial well-being of, of the city. You are full of that one on them. You built monuments so that you could get both of them. Cho đến giờ này, ông vẫn chưa trình bày hết sự thật cho đồng lương Việt Nam. Không hề có một chút cố gắng hoặc kế hoạch thành lập gì để giải quyết tình trạng quá sinh sơ sắp bị giải thể. Up until now, we have not informed the Vietnamese president of the city of the city's financial distress. Um, you have not done anything for helping solving this problem that the city might be bankrupt or a hand sold. Ông nhớ nghiệm chuyện này, ông không chịu cầu tiêu nghĩ hoặc đáp ứng nguyện vọng của cư dân. Quý vị khiến cho tôi phải sống hổ, khiến cho cư dân 
in a city with a tax rate of 10.25%. So what the hell do you want to defund our own police department? Step up and do the right thing tonight or we will campaign hard against you in the mayor race and make sure the voters, all the voters of this city, know that it was you that failed them and this city. You know what? I don't give a shit. How any of you on this council irresponsibly vote, if you irresponsibly vote no at the ballot box, I don't want to care. But tonight, the five of you must let us vote. 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 November 9, 2019, 
small special interest group to be changing the landscape of Westminster with an overwhelming war memorial and a family community park. Since coming to America as refugees, the Vietnamese people have made America better for their just being here. But the politics of Westminster City Council are eroding this image. Toss out the claims that people are communist faces steering each other with the threat of recall if someone has a different opinion from you. We talked about the country uh, members needing code methods, which is exemplified by the outburst during the two prior city council meetings against those who had opinions different from theirs, and the email being sent with concluding F off uh, from the forceful quandary committee member that just spoke. Perhaps the city council should be retaking the code of ethics for these communist races that we call race. Kimberly, you've worked together with your small group of quandary uh, committee cohorts, have lied uh, about your intentions, and have no right to change the landscape of the city of Westminster in the Vietnamese American Vietnam War Memorial Freedom Park. You do not care about the Westminster residents and American Vietnam veterans. Westminster citizens have stepped up with the no public parks, no freedom park, and the email mill and the newspapers are smoking hot. Do you want their vote? Listen to the citizens. Quandary Monument belongs on private land along Rosa or in Westminster Memorial Park. Thank you. The next speaker is Dr. Lee. You may begin speaking. You may meet yourself and begin to speak. Thinking of parks within our city. 
Have any of you ever cleaned up Tony Gunn Park, formerly known as Park West Park? Because I have. I can tell you that it will absolutely cost the city money to keep the park clean and presentable. Money which we do not have and money that this council has no right to spend. Do not place this gigantic monument on public land. Keep your hands off our public parks. You don't own them. Lastly, I just want to say how proud I am to see our community come together. Si se puede. Adelante. Thank you. Gracias. cái phần phát biểu của cư dân là xong rồi ha. Bây giờ là qua cái phần bỏ phiếu để thông qua những cái chuyện mà cần cần thiết trong CD thôi, cũng không có quan trọng. À, bây giờ mình lại ngừng cái máy để mình check cái message. Ai xui miệt ấy ghé gì thăm Bún cá phở quyên vẫn mãi thèm Hầm rục xương cá ngọt liệm Chả cá vàng tươi ngon giòn Nước lèo bốc khói thơm ngát Tương hành chanh ớt chỉ mời em Ăn tô bún cá chứa trang tình người Xin mời quý vị đến với phở quyên Ăn một lần lại muốn ăn thêm Phở quyên 714-896-0928 896 0928 